And so the Seahawks will take over first and 10 with the rookie, Russell Wilson, at quarterback. He'll have Robert Turbin in the backfield with him, along with Leon Washington, and Vi Tao will be the fullback. The wide receivers, Golden Tate, Sidney Rice, will also see a lot of Deion Butler, Terrell Owens, and Braylon Edwards. Across the front for the Hawks, Okung, McQuiston, Unger, Sweezy, Breno Giacomini, and Zach Miller, the tight end. First and 10 from his own 41. Wilson under center, eye backs behind him. Turn, play fake. Wilson looks, near side, throws. Ball is caught, climbing the ladder and reaching up to make a high catch, getting hit in the back and knocked down by Brown is Sidney Rice, who makes a big catch, hits the ground. Now he heads to the far sidelines, but it's a gain of eight. Nice little play-action pass, and uh, that's the way to start it off with your rookie quarterback in question and your guy just off of IR and Sidney Rice. Hooked up for a nice nine-yard gain, a nice second and two right here. You can do a lot of things on this guy. We didn't expect to see him, but Michael Robinson is in the backfield for the Seahawks at fullback. The turn in hand, Sutton gets the ball. He stops going left side and is knocked down before he gets to the midfield stripe. He had to get to about the 50-and-a-half-yard line to pick up the first down. It's a gain of about a yard. I beg your pardon, that's Greg Lumpkin who was carrying the ball that time. No, it was Turbin. All these new guys back there in the backfield. Turbin on the carry. He has been the leading ball carrier for the Seahawks this preseason. So third down and short now, just underway here in this first quarter, 11.50 to play. Third and one, just shy of the midfield stripe. Rice goes in motion left to right. Wilson under center, turn, handy inside, blasting through the middle and picking up the first down is the big fullback, Michael Robinson. I didn't think we were going to see Robinson tonight, but uh, that was a nice little inside handoff. You know, come up with second and two, third and one. You know, those are nice manageable downs for uh, for Russell Wilson, and uh, he can do a lot of things with his athletic ability on those downs. You can see a lot of different plays. Remember, he handed off a lot at Wisconsin, so he's used to that. First and 10 in Kansas City territory at the 47. Again, handoff, Turbin tries to move down to the 45. He's tripped up and knocked off his feet. Holly is there to knock him down, along with Terribio, a gain of a yard. Second down and nine. Wilson being very deliberate in getting his play call and getting back into the huddle. Butler is in now, one wide receiver, along with Sidney Wright. Winslow, the tight end on the left side, coming near side, Golden Tate. Single setback is Turbin, and now out of the shotgun is Russell Wilson on second down and nine. Three down linemen for Kansas City. Here comes the blitz. Wilson has time, looks right, throws, falls right on the money. Golden Tate makes the catch. He's dragging two defenders inside the 35-yard line down to the 33. Another Seahawks first down, and that ball was right on the money. Perfect throw, and Tate is an interesting player to me. You know, he kind of double-clutched that one and was sort of holding it up in the air, but amazingly strong for his size. How many times you see it takes two, three guys to take him down? But you're right, Steve, that Russell Wilson pass was right where it needed to be. Brown and Barry on the play that time for the Chiefs. First down and 10 for Seattle at the Kansas City 31. Whistling goes back under center with eye backs behind him. Turbin's the tail of the eye. Play fake. Here comes the rush. Gets it away down the middle of the field incomplete. Just over the outstretched hands of his tight end, Zach Miller. That pass just inside the numbers. Down about the 10-yard line falling incomplete. Miller on the defense for Kansas City. Second down and 10 upcoming for the Hawks. I'll tell you, that's exactly the matchup you want there. Zach Miller down the the seam one-on-one with a linebacker. and That throw really not that far off, but uh, that's the right place to throw it. you got a tight end on a linebacker. That's a good matchup. Seventh play upcoming here for Wilson. A second down and 10 play. He turns and hands to Turbin. Has some running room off the left side, inside the 25, down to the 24. Sweezy out there throwing a block. McQuiston is there as well. Russell Okung, who quietly is having a terrific camp for the Seahawks. The Hawks pick up seven on that running play, and it'll bring up third and three with 9.25 here to play in this first quarter. No score in Kansas City. Russell Wilson gets the call in from the sidelines, now brings his offense back to the line. Third and three, he goes out of the shotgun, has Leon Washington beside him. Four wide receivers now across the board for the Hawks. Three linemen for Kansas City. They rush three. Wilson's going to scramble out of the pocket right now. He's going to let it fly near side. Ball is caught. 
and diving, trying to get to the sticks is Charlie Martin. Does he get there? No. Well, maybe he does now that I look at the spot. He's going to be very close, and I think he does pick up the first down. So a nice job by Charlie Martin on the catch on the near sidelines from Russell Wilson. And again, except for one pass down the middle, Russell Wilson has been on the money with everything. Yeah, he has, and he was on the move there. And as, as Pete Carroll said this morning, these quarterbacks, they've been scrambling their whole lives. Russell Wilson is just particularly comfortable when he gets out on his feet. First and 10 at the Kansas City 21. Wilson again under center. Single setback turban. He gets the ball left side, and he's tripped up and knocked down. Getting there in a hurry to help make that tackle. Derek Johnson, the leading tackler last season for these Chiefs. In fact, set a franchise record, 131 tackles. Sounds like a Dave Wyman kind of season to me. <laughs> Sounds like my career. <laughs> <laughs> a uh, short gain that time of a yard for Turbin. Second and nine. Ball just inside the 20. Wilson under center. Three wide receivers. Sidney Rice slots on the far side, now coming in motion. Winslow back into the backfield. Turbin the setback. Play fake to him. Wilson's quick flip out to the far side. Winslow tries to make a man miss and can't. Good tackle in the open field out there for the Kansas City Chiefs by Barry. He's their fine third-year safety, former first-round draft choice out of Tennessee. Another one coming back off a of knee surgery on this Chiefs team. Yeah, Eric Barry and uh, also Jamal Charles they lost last year very early. Two very key players. But Eric Barry was the safety that was drafted ahead of Earl Thomas. I think he was the fourth pick of the draft a couple years ago. And uh, probably one of the only guys out there that could bring Kellen Winslow down in the open field. Third down and eight. Inside the 20 of the Chiefs. Under center again is Wilson. Three wide receivers. Wilson looks right now back to the left. Lost one towards the end zone. Pushed out of bounds is Golden Tate. The ball sails well over the head of Tate. And out of the far left side of the end zone, it will bring up fourth down as Stanford Route, the former Oakland Raider, was on the defense. And the Seahawks, after a very nice opening drive, will turn it over to Stephen Hauschka. Tate tried a little stop and go on Stanford. I think route runs like a 4 one or something, so maybe not the guy to run that on, but he never bit on the fake. A 36-yard field goal attempt now for Steven Hauschka out of the hold of John Ryan. Clint Gresham, the deep snapper. He's been perfect as long as he's been here. That one is spotted. The kick is up, and the Seahawks draw first blood with 7.29 to play here in this first quarter. Stephen Hauschka with a 36-yard field goal, and the Seahawks take the early 3-0 lead over the Kansas City Chiefs here at Arrowhead Stadium. We're back with more. First and 10, Russell Wilson brings him out at his own 20. In the backfield behind him, Robert Turbin, single setback. McCoy, the tight end, shifts left to right side. Turbin hit in the backfield, steps out of a tackle, breaks another. Out across the 25 to the 27-yard line. And that's just tough running by the rookie out of Utah State, a seven-yard gain, who they call the Hulk, Dave. And all you got to do is take one look at his arms, and you know why. Yeah, his arms are the size of my legs now, except more defined. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, if I had those arms as legs, I could be really fast. He, he is built low to the ground, too. He's just a, he's a, he's in really good shape. Powerful and quick. Second and three for Russell Wilson. Standing on the right hash mark, shotgun, blitz coming, gets it away, throws near side, down the sidelines, intended for Sidney Rice, and a late flag comes in on Brown, who was on the coverage that time, and as he was edging Sidney Rice toward the sidelines, I got a feeling we're going to see our second pass interference call of the night. Yeah, I think he looked up and saw who pass he was. Defense. Yeah, Brown looked and saw who Number he was 30. running with. Spot foul. Automatic first down. So that's going to pick up 18 yards. The call there by Craig Ochoa, our referee tonight. Yeah, Jaleel Brown, I think, realized that was Sidney Rice and thought, you know what, I'd, uh, I'd rather get a penalty here than beat for a touchdown. First and 10 at his own 45, and Terrell Owens is in the game. Lined up wide to the right side. Braylon Edwards goes wide to the left. And the turn in hand this time. Straight ahead again is Turbin. Right over his right guard. There to help lead the way, Breno Giacomini, the big right tackle, and J.R. Sweezy, Belcher there on the stop. So 
we're seeing now the two big veteran wide receivers in the game, and that time they were just decoys. Well, Turbin is just, I've seen over the last three games, he's really figuring out how to run at the NFL level. Uh, you got to keep your feet moving, and he's done a great job. Ran through a tackle there. Last series ran through a tackle, so he, he's learned how to keep his feet going in this league. Picked up six, so second and four just across midfield at the 49 of Kansas City. Three wide receivers. Wilson's going to throw. Looking down the field. Moves to his right. Looks for some running room. Now he throws. What a catch by Braylon Edwards. Over the top of the defender. First down inside the Kansas City Chiefs 20-yard line. Brown was the defender, and he didn't have a chance against Braylon Edwards, the former Cleveland Brown and San Francisco 49er. What a catch. Well, if you can picture the first time Russell Wilson and Braylon Edwards hooked up, Pretty similar here. Yeah, he gets Jaleel Brown again, and that ball's right where it needed yeah. to be, Steve. And a great little movement by Russell getting out of the pocket to free himself up for that pass in the first place. A 32-yard gain. Now first and 10 for the Hawks. Wilson out of the shotgun, hands to Turbin. He goes left side, looks for some running room down inside the 15 to the 14-yard line. Goes Turbin. He's getting a lot of work here in this first half as, again, he gets the start in place of Marshawn Lynch, who's not here. A two-yard gain, but you said it, Dave, a perfect pass to the near sidelines, and Braylon Edwards just has that ability to go up over a defender. He's not all that big, 6'3", but he's got big hands. Uh, he's a guy we haven't really talked about with right. the T.O. thing and Rice coming back. Braylon has looked really good, and that was just a fantastic catch. Edwards is out right now on second down. Wilson out of the shotgun, looks inside, fires for Sidney Rice. Ball is slapped away. As Jaleel Brown, the cornerback that time, you get the feeling they might be picking on him a little so. bit. Yeah. But he does slap that quick slant away from Sidney Rice inside the 10. So it'll bring up a third down now and eight with 2.34 to play here in this first quarter. And the Seahawks up 3 nothing. I'm afraid Jaleel Brown's going to get a complex. <laughs> it's three in a row going after him. But really, that ball was on the money. I think Brown just made a nice play hitting Sidney Rice right at the time the ball came. Wilson's going to go under center. He's got an offset eye behind him with Leon Washington and Robinson. In motion is Terrell Owens, right to left across the formation. Here comes the blitz. Wilson scrambles to the left side. He gets hit, and he goes down. Getting there to bring him down is Derek Johnson, the tackling machine for Kansas City. And that time, just nowhere to throw the ball for Wilson. He looked downfield, tried to move to his left, couldn't find anybody to throw to, and... To cap another drive, Stephen Hauschka onto the field for a field goal attempt. Yeah, Derek Johnson just too good. I mean, a really good job of moving around in the pocket because they were bringing six on that play, but it looks like they had uh, Derek Johnson sort of just waiting in case he escaped and just couldn't quite get away from him. But pretty nice drive from uh, 20 to 20 here. Stephen Hauschka, this is a 39-yard field goal attempt from the left hash mark. It's up. It's plenty long enough, and it's right through. And so the Seahawks on two nice drives led by the rookie Russell Wilson cap them off with field goals, two of them by Stephen Hauschka, 155 to play in the first. It's the Seahawks six, the Chiefs nothing here on the Bing Radio Network. First and 10, 50 seconds to play in the quarter. Seattle up 6 nothing. Wilson, first and 10 at his own 36. He's going to turn. Ham, Turbin, pounds it out across the line of scrimmage. Picks up maybe a yard, perhaps a couple at most. Amon Gordon is there for the tackle for Kansas City. And again, if you expected Russell Wilson to come out and just light the place up, throwing deep passes and all that, that's not what this offense is about, whether it's Wilson or Matt Flynn or anybody else at quarterback. That's right. You you look where you spend your money. I mean, look, they spent their money on building a running game. You know, it's not going to be a a team where they're going to go and spend a ton of money on a quarterback. They're going to get a guy who can come in there and do the job and fit in with this excellent running game. Second down and eight from his own 37. Turbin again putting his head down, trying to squeeze in behind his guard, J.R. Sweezy. Not a lot of running room there that time for Kansas City. We'll call it a gain of a couple. As you said, Dave, a lot of talent on this Chiefs defense. Three of the front four first-round draft choices. Tyson Jackson, Glenn Dorsey, Tamba Hali. I mean, that's a lot of good talent up there. Well, especially in defensive tackles. And we'll pick up that thought because that is the end of the first quarter. Russell Wilson, the rookie, all the way at quarterback, looking at a third and seven from his own 39-yard line. Out of the shotgun, Leon Washington, the single setback, three wide receivers. Looks like he's changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Long snap count. 
Now Wilson gets it. Here comes the blitz. He steps up. He's going to run. He's got enough for the first down and then some. Across midfield, the 40, 35, heading to the near sidelines. Out of bounds at the 30-yard line. The Chiefs are walking around looking at each other saying, who was supposed to have the quarterback? A 31-yard pickup and a big first down from Russell Wilson who made that look easy. Oh, what a nightmare for a linebacker. You know, I think uh, I, I'm not sure if there was a mistake on that play or not, but it just opened up in the middle. And, uh, and Eric Berry, the safety, actually ran out of there, but nobody really accounting for Russell Wilson. Right back to the line of scrimmage at the 30 of Kansas City. Wilson up under center. Offset eye with Leon Washington, the tailback. Washington's going to get it. Coming left. One cut. Pounds into the line. He's finally wrestled down by Javon Belcher, the linebacker. A five-yard gain there. So Russell Wilson picks up, what, 31 on that run. He had an earlier run of 32 for a touchdown this season. So the guy can uh, lay some big runs on a defense. Well, and he comes into the game tonight with 92 yards rushing, which puts him 10th in the NFL during the preseason. So, yeah, he can, he can run the ball a little bit too, and he's really good at it. He runs away from pressure really nicely. Second and five and a half. I backs this time behind Wilson. Leon Washington again. Oh boy, he gets planted. He is hit and hit hard and knocked on his wallet by Gerald Poe, the fourth-year player out of Mississippi. Not a lot of running room up inside that time. Yeah, those, uh, that's some of that money well spent on D tackles that you were talking about, <laughs> those, those big guys inside. But, uh, you know, you look at Turbin has nine rushes already. We're seeing Leon Washington in this series, but uh, it's nice to see that the, uh, the zone blocking scheme working so well and just being able to plug in whichever running back and still have success. Three of five on third downs. This a third and five, and here comes the blitz. Wilson steps up, and he's hit and dropped by the blitzing Javier Arenas out of Alabama coming off the corner. That's one of the things he does well. He's good in man-to-man. He's also excellent on the blitz, and he gets in and drops Russell Wilson for a, a short gain, maybe a loss, actually, of about a yard, and another Stephen Hauschka field goal upcoming, but this one from about 45 yards out. Yeah, Arenas came on that delayed blitz. And uh, looks like he probably just didn't really account for him. He sort of hid behind a defensive tackle and came out at the last second. Reminded me of that Derek Johnson tackle. John Ryan puts it down. Steven Hauschka gets it up. A flag is down on the near sidelines. We'll wait to see what that's all about. As the flag came out, and I don't even know if the officials under the goalposts even signaled whether it was whether it was a good kick or not. Boy, Hauschka has put him right down the middle, he hasn't has. he? He is terrific. Offsides. Defense. Number 26. Penalty is declined. Field goal is good. There you go. Another field goal, the third for Steven Hauschka. And the Seahawks put three more up on the board. On first and ten, Wilson, play fake, going to roll right, stops, cuts back inside, stiff arms a man, he's still on the move, heading inside, across the 40, 45 midfield, gets a great block, 40, 35, run out of bounds on the near sidelines. A great block from one of the Seahawks downfield, I'm trying to see who's Leon lying Washington. on the ground. Oh, it's Leon Washington, who came back to help out his quarterback, pick up 26 yards, Leon slow to get up, he finally does. But, oh, my goodness, what a great run, a 27-yard game. Boy, and what a great play fake on that play right there by Russell Wilson. But cuts it all the way back. J.R. Sweezy almost ran into him, but Eric Berry does a complete somersault. Leon Washington cuts his legs out, and I think Leon actually took the brunt of that blow, but he was going to run Russell down for about a five-yard gain until Leon made that block. I'd be surprised if Berry stayed in the game, but he is. Wilson now two passes, or two rushes, I beg your pardon, for 58 yards. He's going to turn on first down and hand to Turbin. He's going to cut right side across the 30. Cuts back in across the 25 to the 24. Still going. No whistle. Still driving his legs. The Seahawks bench, they're all up watching and cheering this guy, this rookie out of Utah State, who really is the Hulk as they just couldn't bring him down out there on that first down run, and he picks up a first down. A gain of 14, right back to the line of scrimmage. 
Here's Wilson looking downfield. Throws, got a man wide open. Touchdown, Seahawks! Kellen Winslow Jr. on a pass to the far side. The Kansas City defense absolutely asleep as the Seahawks get right back to the line of scrimmage. And Russell Wilson throws a perfect pass to Winslow in the far corner of the field. Touchdown over the Chiefs, who were caught sleeping a 21-yard strike. Okay, now Kansas City Chiefs can, uh, fans can boo because their <laughs> defense was not ready right there. Got up on a, a quick lineup and actually uh, got up to the line before Kansas City got set. And perfect pass to Kellen Winslow, but he really was all alone and he almost (laughs) didn't quite get into the end zone there he reached the ball back past the pylon because his momentum almost carried him out but uh, but great job for a rookie coming up there getting his team up to the line and hurrying up with a play like that house going on for the extra point spot the kick is up and it's good 9 43 to play in the second quarter and the seahawks are up and the booze rain down Braylon Edwards, who had a spectacular catch earlier in this game, wide to the near side. Wilson's going to throw it up over the top. He's got a man out there. The ball is tipped away at the last second from Terrell Owens. The very last second, that might have been Jacques Reeves who got his hand on that ball. Maybe a touch underthrown by Wilson intended down the far sidelines for Terrell Owens. Uh, Braylon Edwards in the game also. Anthony McCoy got some big bodies in there, but... Just uh, maybe could have led him a little bit better on that pass. Second and 10 from his own 20. Wilson under center this time. With Turbin in the backfield. Three wide receivers. Turbin gets it. Starts right. Doesn't get very far. Maybe a couple of yards on the run. Piling up on top of him. Patoa Tua. The defensive tackle out of Washington State, Kansas City, calls a timeout. They'd like to try to stop Seattle here, force a punt, and still have another chance maybe to put some more points on the board with 148 to play in the half. Boy, Robert Turbin certainly getting his workload tonight, doing a great job. But uh, a couple times the Kansas City defensive line, all those first-rounders we talked about, geez, in the first ten picks over the last three or four years, have taken three defensive tackles. So... They should be set at that position. Turbin, 43 yards on 11 carries already tonight. Seattle looking at uh, 50% on third down conversions. Three of six for Russell Wilson, the rookie, and company. Looking at a third and nine here from his own 21. He'll keep Turbin in the game. Next to him, in the backfield, out of the shotgun. Anthony McCoy, the tight end on the near side with three wide receivers. Wilson takes the snap. Blitz is coming. Throws near side. Ball is dropped in and out of the hands of Terrell Owens. That would have been a first down. Terrell Owens can't hang on, and that's what happened to him a week ago. Route was on coverage that time for the Chiefs. It's going to bring up third and nine now. Actually, I think it's a... Roughing the passer. Oh, roughing the passer. I didn't see the flag drop. Tom Bahali. Down. Wow. We were so busy watching the pass, which was right on the money considering Russell Wilson got hammered. Tom Bahali is the man charged with the penalty, and so it is a first down for the Seahawks. And that was a way late hit. But it, I'm still, I think you and I are both fixated on that pass was right in T.O.'s yeah. hands. Really unfortunate. He's not able to, to come down with that because that one hit him right in the hands and that's a first down if he catches it well nobody i'm sure more upset about it than terrell owens but remember he hasn't played in an actual game that counted since week 15 of the 2010 season didn't play at all last year with the injuries seahawks first and 10 after the penalty ball out as they spotted across the 35 to the 36 so all of a sudden, the Seahawks kind of out of jail right now with 143. Now it's the Seahawks who are looking to put some more points on the board before the end of the half. Owens goes wide to the far side. Slot formation to the right. Shotgun is Wilson. Takes the snap, has time, fires a dart, and it's caught out across the 35. Reaching up and making the catch is McCoy. Anthony McCoy, the tight end, who is making a bid for the third tight end spot, a 27-yard gain, beating Elam, the safety, right down the middle. 
Wilson back up to the line of scrimmage. Clock is moving. 120 and counting. First and 10. Wilson, screen pass right side. Turbin gets one block. Turns up field. Good pursuit by Derek Johnson and a host of Chiefs getting there to help make the play for a short game. Timeout called now by the the Chiefs. Kansas City. That's their second of the half. With 111 to play, that helps the Seahawks out too. Please put 113. 113. So we're going to add a couple of seconds back to the clock. 113 now to play in the first half. Again, Seattle leading 16 to 7. And the Hawks looking after that uh, screen pass. No gain, looking at a second and about 10. Interesting, this uh, receiver package they have right now. It's Deion Butler, Braylon Edwards, Terrell Owens, and then Anthony McCoy out there, along with Turbin in the backfield. Had this uh, all the way down the field this entire series. And McCoy's been, I think all three of those guys are interesting, uh, you know, to look at. McCoy's been a guy who's been kind of hit and miss, but uh, he's got good hands. He's had some trouble blocking, but really nice, really nice catch there. And then they want to see what these other two guys are made of as well. Butler now in the slot inside of Golden Tate, second and ten. In Chiefs territory now, there's movement up front. I think we're going to back the Hawks up five. Ball start. Offense. Number 85, five-yard penalty, still second down. You know, and that's kind of one of the problems for Anthony McCoy. It is. He makes a huge play, and then he comes back and kind of loses concentration a little bit and has a silly procedure call. I think I just used the term hit and miss, and uh, that's exactly uh, what happens with Anthony. He makes a great play and then comes back and has something like that. He's had some trouble blocking. Sometimes he's a good blocker, though, and uh, you saw him with that catch, but... uh, Falls it up right there with a with an illegal procedure penalty. So a, team. a second now and 15 facing the Seahawks. Two penalties for 15 yards for Seattle, much better than a week ago. 113 now to play. So here's a second down play with Wilson out of the shotgun. Throws the ball behind his intended receiver, McCoy, and that one is really the first pass that's been off the money all night long from Russell Wilson, and that was definitely behind the intended receiver, the tight end. I was going to say, that was the first time that I've seen one that's way off target, but that's going to happen. You know, really a good job tonight. The offensive line really giving Russell a lot of protection, especially on that play. They brought six, handled all of them, all one-on-one blocks. With a great job by the offensive line there. So third down and almost 15. Wilson, again, out of the shotgun. Three wide receivers, takes the snap, has some time, looks, dumps it underneath, near side, McCoy, jumps over a man, sprints down the near sidelines, inside the 25, down to the 24. Well, if you're going to make a mistake, come back, get it all back for your team, as McCoy picks up 24 on a little flare pass to the near sidelines, jumping over a defender. Big first down as Arenas was the guy who dives at his feet and can't make the play. 40 seconds to play here in the first half. Wilson back to the line of scrimmage. Takes the snap. Looks downfield. Fires a dart. Incomplete. Intended in the middle of the field between the hash marks for his other tight end, one of his other tight ends, Kellen Winslow Jr. That one's incomplete. Stops the clock with 34 seconds. And it'll bring up second and 10. Now a flag. On the defense, number 91. Again, Tamba Ali. Whoa, another roughing the passer call. And the Seahawks will take that all day. Russell Wilson pops right up off the ground, but Ali, who again gets pushed and is a little Uh, bit late getting to the quarterback. I don't know about that one. I disagree with that one. The first one for sure. But, yeah, you can see Romeo Cornell on the sidelines is just livid about that one. You know, you can't stop in midair. This isn't a cartoon. (laughs) Come on, man. He's lunging. You can't stop midair. It's not the Matrix. First and 10 for the Seahawks at the Chiefs 11-yard line. Wilson out of the shotgun. Four-man rush by the Chiefs. Down the middle of the field. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks, to Charlie Martin. The third-year player out of West Texas A&M with the sure hands. An 11-yard touchdown strike. And the Seahawks stretch their lead over the Chiefs. What a beautiful throw. Charlie Martin caught 22 touchdowns his senior year. He's really showed up big. He was part of that big block downfield on the keeper that uh, Russell Wilson scored. But look at that ball put right on the money. Just perfect 
crossing pattern by Martin. He has man-to-man coverage, and that ball put out in front of him, out where the defender couldn't get it. Ouch gone for the extra point. He's been a busy man tonight. That kick is up and good. And with 20, make it 30 seconds to play. Here in the first half, a lot of action in this drive for the Seahawks. Been exciting. 22 to 7, Seattle leads. So we've seen offense out of the offense. Ones against ones. Russell Wilson has led the team up and down the field. And now the Seahawks defense gave up seven points in that earlier drive. Other than that, they've been gold tonight, the Seahawks have on defense. So two more touchdowns. I don't what did Jackie have? Our, our number for Wilson was up to eight or nine scoring drives. I think he's up to what eleven now? Or twelve. I mean, just this kid with at every at every juncture, he has passed the test on that drive. Ten for fifteen hundred and thirty eight yards and two touchdowns. No interceptions. Really good. Take care of the ball. And uh, just every every test you throw at this kid, he passes it. And look, this Kansas City defense. There's some athletes out there. You're right. I mean, they're talented. And Romeo Cornell is going to tell him at halftime that a rookie quarterback just carved you That's guys right. up in that first half. A seven-play, 80-yard drive. A minute and a half it took. Now, granted, there were a couple of big penalties, too. Let's remember, two big 15-yard penalties on Tamba Ali uh, on that drive. But, listen, that's part of the game. As the Seahawks stretch their lead to 23-7 to now over the Kansas City Chiefs with 30 seconds to play in the half. All right, defense doing a nice job for much of that first half. Doing the old bend but not break and uh, letting them down, though, a little bit there at the end of half number one. Russell Wilson continuing to play at quarterback. Studebaker doing a nice job of stringing that one out wide and coming over to finish him off. Number 59, Javon Belcher, the running back, was Robert Turbin. He picks up eight yards. Javon Belcher is someone who started 15 games two years ago, every game last year, and I know stood out to you a little bit at training camp when you spent time with the Chiefs earlier this summer. Well, he's done a real nice job. He's played sideline to sideline. You could hear from that mic picking up the collision on the sideline. Uh, this isn't a game for the faint at heart. You, you've got to be able to, uh, to step in there and be able to take shots like that, and, and Javon has played well so far in training camp and has done a nice job of, of leading this defense. And, doing his part with Derek Johnson in the middle for those linebackers of, uh, of making the firm tackles. Turbin picks up 17 yards there before he was finally brought down by Stanford route. Injured Chief in between the 30 and 35 yard line trying to get a look at the number. Seahawks from the Seattle 40. You no, know, the initial thought anytime you see a big man go down you can see Barry coming back coming down on the back the back side of his leg could be an ankle could be a knee but the fact that Dorsey was able to get up and walk walk off the field on his own power is a real positive sign. First down and 10, Seattle from the Chiefs are from their own 45, taking the reverse to Terrell Owens. Russell Wilson coming back and firing to Golden Tate. And Abram Elam going to get called for pass interference. Did a nice job of breaking that one up. I guess he was there just a little bit too early. Well, it was a nice job by the, by the Seahawks doing a Fake a handoff, fake a reverse. I'm not sure how many people bought into the fact Pass that Terrell Owens was doing a reverse. Defense, number 32. Spot foul, automatic first down. See, he comes off, fakes the run, fakes the reverse. Pushes the ball upfield. Elam breaks on the ball. You can see he reaches around as a defense, as a, as a Back official, what you're looking at is probably that right arm. It appears that he has his right arm around it, but he's not touching him with the right arm. Chiefs with five penalties tonight, costing them 74 yards. Wilson finding his way out of trouble, dumping it off underneath. And yeah, nice job coming up there to make that tackle. By Jacques Reeves. Well, and that's a, tuple, a couple of tough calls uh, at the end of the first half with uh, the second of the two passing, or second of the two roughing the quarterback on uh, on Tamba uh, didn't appear it, it, if anything it appeared that Tamba was getting held and then there it's another clo close play that uh, that does not go the Chiefs way. Jock Reeves with the tackle there on Sean McGrath bringing up second down five. Robert Turbin continues to be the tailback behind Robert behind Russell Wilson. Turbin with it off the left side and Robert Turbin will score. It's 
25 yards, Robert Turbin for the Seattle touchdown. Well, something the Chiefs defense has been doing really well all night is not allowing the big run other than the couple times where the pocket broke down in the passing game and Russell Wilson took off for big runs. But from a running back standpoint, they've done, they've done a really good job of maintaining their lanes and not allowing those types of gains. Pete Carroll's offense after settling for field goals earlier in the game, Russell Wilson leading them into the end zone here. More of lights and Seattle Seahawks with an impressive drive to begin the second half. We have 13-14 left in the third quarter. Seattle on the road and on top by 23. Chiefs defense on the field now. Russell Wilson still the quarterback for the Seattle Seahawks. That tailback is Craig Lumpkin. And that's a Seattle gain of eight. And as I look out over the field, you can see quite a quite a bit of the uh, the roster change. I shouldn't say roster change, but the personnel change that is taking place. A number of the first string def defenders are out of there. Uh, you see a lot of the backups, uh, not along the defensive line, but also linebackers uh, and in the secondary as well. Second down two situation coming up for that defense. I see a starter, Jaleel Brown. That corner still out of the field. See our ground game. And the Chiefs run defense. Jarrell Poe was there to make the stop. Tailback for Seattle, Craig Lumpkin. And Jarrell Poe is one of the guys they've talked about at length throughout this entire training camp and preseason who's done a really solid job, done a good job in the interior part of the line. Uh, getting penetration in the backfield, we saw the play that he made earlier in the game where he threw the center away and was able to make a tackle for loss on the running back. He's had an impressive camp. First down and 10, Craig Lumpkin, the eye back. Russell Wilson off the play action. Looking deep to Terrell Owens. And did he come up with that one? Yes, he did. Jacques Reeves with the coverage, but Russell Wilson with a big hookup to T.O. for 40 yards. Well, T.O.'s had several opportunities tonight to come up with plays, and he hasn't made them. This time, Russell puts it right over the outside shoulder. It's actually really good coverage. He's right there. Reeves is right there to make the play. He just doesn't jump up and knock it away. A needed catch for Terrell Owens after a couple of drops tonight, as well as a big one. Well, and you and I Drop were discussing uh, discussing at the half whether or not they were going to let him on the team plane for the flight home. <laughs> He's earning his way back. There's his second catch in as many plays. Chief defense there to stop him. The initial contact made by number 71, Edgar Jones. And we talked about the roster cuts a couple moments ago. Trent, you and I talked about it. We talked about it with General Manager Scott Pioli. And I said that you weren't worried about it. But there was a point in your career early oh, yeah. to mid-90s where that maybe some sleepless nights approaching that first cut. Quite, quite a few sleepless nights. I, I was cut my second year in San Diego and was out of football, went to Canada. After a couple weeks, was cut up there. And then when I went to Washington, trying to get myself back in the league in 1995, uh, believe me, there, there was a lot of sleepless nights those first few years until I was able to get on the field. So uh, I know the anxiety that these guys are going through. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a tough couple of nights because, uh, as we mentioned, when Scott was here and we showed the graphic earlier that the first cuts are coming on Monday. So you have all weekend to think about, OK, am I going to be one of those guys the, the, the Chiefs have 89 guys on their roster and they've got to get down to 75 and you know, those guys that are bubble guys, they're, they're worried. They're trying to figure out what am I going to do, and if I get cut here, am I going to have another opportunity? So, uh, and it's not an easy thing. We didn't get a chance to talk to Scott about it. It's not an easy thing, and it's something we'll, we'll ask him next week in Green Bay because it's not just a cut and dry thing where you cut somebody. It's, it's tough for those guys as well because you know you're ending a, a player's dream of playing in the National Football League. Braylon Edwards almost with a tremendous one-handed catch. The tight coverage provided by Jaleel Brown. Nice job by Brown. You can see Braylon fighting for the ball and trying to get through. And Jaleel does a nice job of breaking this up, staying right in his hip pocket, not giving much room for air. I said he almost had a great catch. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dial that back and say he's got a paw on it, but he didn't almost <laughs> catch it. Yeah. Steven Hoshka on to attempt the field goal from 51 yards out. He's been 
Good so far tonight. Three out of three. Escalating difficulty from 36 to 39 to 45 yards and this one from 51. Started to push and then just a little outside there. So Hauschka has his first miss of the night. You look at where Matt put that ball. He put it high and on the back shoulder. So either his guy was going to get it or nobody was going to get it. Third down in seven. Coming underneath to Kevin Boss. Wanted to come to Kevin Boss. And that's going to be a Seattle Seahawks touchdown. Walter Thurman, touchdown Seahawks. Earl Thomas is number 29. Matt's done such a nice job most of the night when he has pressure in the pocket, being able to buy time with his feet or buy time and make an accurate throw. This time he realizes the defender is coming free and he's going to take a shot. He doesn't step into it. It's almost a jumping motion where he's moving away from the defender and doesn't get enough on it when you float that ball over the middle. You can see here he's looking up the field, looking up the field, but as he throws, he's trying to cushion his body. You can't get much velocity on a ball, and when that happens, it floats a little bit. The defender did a good job of breaking on the ball. Well, Zama's talented first-round safety. Same class as Eric Berry. Seahawks grow that lead to 30 with 448 left in the third quarter. If you look at last week's game, when he, when he led him on a touchdown drive at the end of that game, made a nice accurate throw to Jeremy Horn down the field after Stanzi had had his struggles, uh, you, you would definitely say from a statistical point that, uh, that that's the way that the, the Chiefs are leading. But when talking to Romeo, either he's a great poker player or he's not showing his hand because he's uh, he did a tremendous job telling us that the, that the analysis is all going to come down to practice and the games. At Golden Tate's with an impressive punt return for a touchdown, eluding cheap defenders and then kind of negotiating his way down the sideline against Zemanski. And he eventually did win that battle. 92 yard punt return touchdown, Golden Tate. Well, I tried talking as much as I could during that return. I was trying to fill it up and I, and I was just hoping that somebody would make a tackle or that the play would just disappear or come back on a penalty, something like that. I was trying to fill it up, but uh, yeah, unfortunately from a special team standpoint, that's where a lot of these guys that are in the game right now, you have your twos and your threes uh, because most of the starters have been pulled out of the game. This is where these guys are going to make an impact. This is where these guys are going to make the football team. If you're the backup DB, if you're the backup linebacker, backup running back, this is where you need to make your impact. Backup wide receiver, uh, Terrence Copper, this is where this is why he's been in the league nine years because of his his play on special teams. So guys that want to make an impact and give themselves a couple years to work into becoming a starter, special teams is where you need to make it. Matt Zemanski with a 57 yard punt, but Golden Tate 92 yards later with a touchdown return. A nice wall there, and he gets another good block. And the rest of this, he just beats Zemanski down the sideline, which you would expect a punt returner to beat the punter every single time. Well, and actually, Zemanski does a nice job. First off, it's a great punt. He gets a booming punt that's down inside the 10. Uh, Seattle does a nice job with the return and setting up a wall for him. But all you can ask from a punter at that point in time is just get to the sideline and make him turn back. You're hoping that the pursuit coming from behind, if that return man slows down and tries to cut back, you're hoping that just by getting in front of him and forcing him to cut back, uh, that the pursuit will be able to make the tackle. So I, I, I don't fault him at all. 